everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my Fluid Art channel. So today is about some insight on what works and what doesn't work. So when I do my wine glasses, I recommend everybody still hand wash them. Even though it's nice to be able to put them in the dishwasher, it is paint and paint tends to get softened. Um, same thing with the products here. And so I know for a fact, 100%, and I'll show you in the video here uh, later on, that hand washing in warm, soapy water will not ruin your glasses if you use these products. However, if you put them in a dishwasher, they will. So let's talk about the two different styles that I've done. And I'm kind of getting into my groove of trying to figure out what which one I really like. And here in a little bit, I'm going to be doing about 105 glasses. So I will figure out really doing um, those, all those mini glasses that which one, which type of products I really, really like and which ones I don't like. So for now though, I had a bunch of glasses that I did for Christmas time. And what I do is I pour on just these type of tiles. So this is a ceramic tile. It's gloss, high gloss, and I pour on them and, and I'll show you a pour here too in a minute. And then I cut them off. Okay, so in this pour, it's called a bloom technique. And so I put down a pillow paint and then I put down colors. And I do have all of the materials in a video and I'll link that right here. So I'm putting all the rainbow colors together as I'm doing this pour and it really turns out pretty. So you're gonna really like the end results of this one. So once I get my colors down, then I put on what's called a cell activator and the cell activator you blow down and across the color paint as it floats across the pillow paint. And so when you push down the air pushes back up these color cells and it's just gorgeous and i'll use a um, skewer to kind of make some fun designs but i'll just kind of let you watch for right now so i really like this one it's um, really pretty it looks like stained glass windows um, anyway, I just really love it. And I just wanted to show you this one as um, an example of a bloom technique that I did for my glasses. Thanks everyone. So this is a skin that I just peeled right off. It takes me less than 10 seconds to peel this off once it's dry. And I just cut with a utility knife or what I call an X-Acto knife. Uh, my husband gives me a hard time about it all the time. But uh, so a utility knife, I cut the edges and then I just peel it off. It's super easy and um, yeah, it works really great. And keep your fingers out of the way of the straight edge or the utility knife or you could really hurt yourself and you don't want to do that. And if you feel like this one isn't as thick of a skin as this one was, so just be really careful as you're peeling it out. Just go a little bit at a time to the edge as you're peeling it back get all the corners and the edges and then the center is fairly easy to lift up once you kind of get most of it there see this one's quite a bit thinner than the other ones Look at how cool that is. That's going to be super neat. Look at that. Yeah, really cool.
great. So I've got a number of skins down here to kind of show you. Uh, and I have actually over on my pool table, which I'll show you a picture of that in a little bit in the video. I have 105 ready to go for my glasses once I get them in stock. So anyway, back to what I'm talking about here. Uh, this side over here, these glasses over here, what I did was I took my skins and I uh, made circles on them and I back to back. So that way they could be on the bottom and on the top when you look down. So when you look down on the glass, this is what you're going to see. And when you look at the bottom, when somebody's taking a sip of it, that's what you're going to see. So I really wanted to make them unique um, and they're just gorgeous. I love them. So when I took the bottom of these and I put them together, I used this product right here that is the Liquitex Medium to glue them together and to glue them to the bottom of the glass. I also used this to glue the single sheet or the single circle to the bottom of this glass as well. Okay, so I used this product for that. So I'll tell you about the products here on this side. On these ones, I decided to first use resin. And so I sprinkled them with my flakes. So either my opal flakes or my gold flakes, I sprinkled on top and then I resined them, okay? Uh, and there's a trick for that that I'll link in my video uh, right here that shows the tricks that you need to know or the things that you need to know about if you are gonna use these flakes and you're gonna use resin. Um, and basically is, is that you need to flatten down the flakes once that dries, or you're gonna have little bumps and then your glasses get tippy and then you have to work harder. So anyway, that's in the video um, that I've just linked here earlier. All right, so then once I got these resined, I got these attached, um, I really found out that there's this product called uh, Mod Podge Dis Dishwasher Safe. And it's, uh, I have tried it, and when I first put it on, it says it doesn't leave streaks um, in the description. And it probably doesn't, depending on what tool you use. But it, it's pretty thick, and it didn't self-level, and it made streaks. So because of that, then I used this product. After I put the Mod Podge over top of all of these, and then I used this product to help gloss it and get rid of those streaks. Okay, so because I did this, um, I had some things that happened. So first I wanna kinda of talk a little bit about what I, even with these products, how to wash your um, glasses. So I'm gonna show that video and that test right now and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, everyone, I've had a lot of people ask if these are dishwasher safe, and right now the resin ones I would not recommend, but they've also asked if you have soaked them in hot water. So what I'm doing is right now I am filling up my sink with super hot water because that's just from the tap, how it can go, and I'm going to let them sit. So right now it is 5.08. And so I am going to see these two. This one right here has the resin on it. And this one right here has the decoupage um, on it. So we'll see uh, if they hold up in this hot water. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Turn that off. Right there. So again, it is now 5.09, so let's see what it looks like in 10 minutes. All right, thanks. Okay, so now it's 10 minutes later, 5.19, and I still have my glasses soaking in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them, put them here. And let me dry them off and let me check them out in just a second. Okay, so I don't see any um, bubbling. I don't see any um, peeling of any kind coming up. Um, they're nice and warm still to the touch. So um, I'll let them cool off a little bit 
and see what happens. So um, now it's 520. So let me just let them cool off for a little bit. And the next step will be to put soap in there. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, so it's 525. Now my glasses have been cooling here for a little bit. Um, they're still, I feel like they're still a little warm to the touch, but that's okay, this is a test. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use Dawn back in the same sink. I'm getting hot water going again. Yeah, it's hot to the touch, so let me push this down. All right, and I'm gonna put some Dawn in here. What I would normally use if I was hand washing. Get that kind of going. And as that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glasses and put them into soak. Going up the tub of there. Okay, so I'm gonna let them soak and I'm going to lay them down this time. And fill that up, I guess, more that way. This is how most people would wash their glasses if they're gonna wash them, right? Okay, again, it's now 526. So I'm gonna let them soak for about five minutes and come right back. All right, bye everyone. Okay, so it's 531. I just rinsed them off. I just wanna make sure that everybody knows I'm doing this all at the same time. Um, they're still wet from the tub full of subs, suds <laughs> with Dawn. And so now I'm gonna dry them off and uh, let's see how they come out. All right. Okay, so I don't see any peeling off of any kind um, after soaking them for 10 minutes in hot water and then an additional five minutes in soapy water with Dawn um, from there. So I really don't see um, anything happening. Now I haven't done dishwasher. Okay, so it's 5.30 two now, uh, three. I haven't done any of the dishwasher uh, testing yet. I, I would not recommend dishwasher, especially with the resin one, um, just because it's gonna be really hot with the sanitizer stuff. And I'm afraid it's gonna just um, melt the resin, but I still would like to do a dishwasher test with these two. Okay, well, I'm glad that at least that they're holding up. And um, again, I, I wanna try also the decoupage dishwasher safe. I did put decoupage on that one, but I also put varnish on it too to, because the decoupage added, you can kind of see, um, if you kind of look, see the streaks, it's kind of streaky from the decoupage. So I did try to see if I could do varnish over it. I'm not gonna varnish it because I know with varnish, it's not gonna hold up. Uh, too much in the dishwasher area. But yeah, I'm very happy with the results so far. All right, bye. And they still look beautiful um, from the top view too. Don't they? I love them. Gosh, these are so pretty. Okay, so you saw with hand washing them in hot water, I soaked them for 10 minutes and then I soaked them another five minutes with soapy water, was able to wash them no problems whatsoever okay on any of this so the resin with the mod podge and the varnish everything was fine okay i suppose if you soaked them for an hour it could probably do something to the varnish because you know when you put a glass on top of a varnished table it, it it's wet it bubbles right and so varnish is not necessarily a good product to use to seal so now i'm going to show you a test that I used for dishwashing. So let me show you that. Okay, everyone, I am going to be washing these two in normal cycle. I'm not gonna do a sani cycle, so a sanitation cycle. I'm gonna do a normal cycle today. And we'll see how they turn out this afternoon when I get done and home from work. All right, bye. Okay, everyone, I am going to wash those two. That one is the one with the resin and uh, decoupage and varnish on it. This one just has the decoupage and varnish on it. And um, it's the Mod Podge. I keep saying decoupage, but it's not. It's Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe. So, and I did resin that prior to putting on the Mod Podge too as well. So let's just see how those ones come out. I put Cascade in it. Hi kitty. 
Hi, kitty. <laughs> I put Cascade in it, so let's go ahead and shut this up. And I am just going to push start. That's all I'm gonna do. So you can kind of see it's on sensor, wash, um, doesn't say anything about high heat dry. Um, I'm not gonna do extended dry, I'm just gonna do the regular. Well, we might as well just test it, right? Um, actually, why don't we test this one, no heat and see what happens. And then we will test it. Um, that's weird how that does that, isn't that? Okay, cool. All right, anyway. Um, so we're going to test that at regular dry and not heat dry. Okay, regular dry. We're just gonna push start. Four, three, two, and there it goes. Okay, so I will see what happens when I get home from work. All right, bye. Okay, so it's a little bit into the wash cycle. Let's just take a look. Kind of foggy. Oh, that's foggy. Hold on. There. Not too bad so far. All right. Looks good so far. The resin looks like it might be getting hot over here. Can you kind of see that? How it is um, kind of cloudy. Um, kind of hard to see it. Can you see how it's kind of cloudy? So yeah, it might be breaking down and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open up the dishwasher. See how it came out. Okay. So that is that. So I would say that is not dishwasher safe. Let's see this one here. Hmm, that's similar. So, I'd say no. We'll see how these dry out. Hmm. So there was a kind of a layer um, that I was, I peeled back and it looks like the skin has bubbled on this side hasn't on that side yet so I can salvage this but definitely not dishwasher safe it'll be interesting to see how that one turns out hmm. okay well we'll just have to wait and see okay this one had the same layer I'm wondering if that is the varnish or the mod podge Oh, that's varnish, I think. Curious to see if that peels off too. Yep, there's a second layer. Because I did multiple layers, so. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we do not want to dishwasher these at all. They you want to make sure that they are hand washed, and you can soak them. I did earlier today uh, and it was perfect, but dishwasher, mm, nope. So I checked and I can peel it back. So um, definitely um, not good there. And I could, I actually dug my nail down in here. Um, same thing as I did here, I, I put my nail underneath there and well, what nails I have right now. <laughs> and um, I was able to lift that off too as well. So again, um, no dishwashers for this type of um, gluing the bottoms on there. Uh, I'm gonna try another process and let's see how that works. Okay, so the dishwasher didn't work, right? Um, so what it does is it breaks down the bonding when it comes to resin. So to put resin on, to make it hard, you use heat, right? Well, if we use heat again, it's going to break down that composition of it and it's gonna get sticky and it's not gonna work really well. So um, we know that. The other thing we also know is that using varnish, the varnish started to flake off. And so I'm just gonna quick show you 
Um, this is what came off in the dishwasher. At, well, it was still on the glass, but I peeled it off right away. Um, and then this one was on this one. So this is the varnish um, and the decoupage, I believe. I mean, it could be just the varnish that came off, okay? So that's the results there. Then here, um, this one right here, the ones that I just put down with the decoupage, I tried to see if I could peel it off and I could um, while it was still warm. Now, right now it's not warm. So if I started to peel it off, it probably would come off, but it wouldn't come off as easily, okay? I tried to peel the resin off right away. And although it did kind of start coming up, it didn't do it as much as this side did. So I would say resin is a little bit better than just doing this over here. However, neither one of them works in dishwashers. So you can kind of see, this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after, okay? You can still see it's pretty on the bottom here, but it's, or, you know, when you're looking down from the top on the bottom, but the bottom of the bottom of the wine glass, um, the shine is gone, obviously, uh, because of the varnish that was on there, but also because the resin um, started to melt and it moved and yeah, it just didn't work good. So my plan is, is to test next just putting the decoupage on to see if I could do multiple different layers of this on it and be able to get the layers so that the streaks are gone in it. That's my plan is to use that and not use varnish and not use uh, resin right now. So I'm gonna do that in my next tester, in my next video, and I'll have results there. But for now, I want you to know that either way that I did these, and I've linked my video again right here for that, either way you can hand wash these and they would be perfect. And I would recommend you hand wash your delicate, you know, just like your delicate clothes, um, I would hand wash these as well. Um, but if you put them in the dishwasher, they're gonna fail. So um, again, as I sell these or give these away to my family and my friends that I did for Christmas, one of the things that I told them was for sure, make sure, for sure, make sure, <laughs> to make sure that you hand wash them um, for now, all right? Well, that's all I've got for you today. I just wanted to show you and demonstrate that it does work fine if you're gonna hand wash. It does not work good at all if you put them in the dishwasher. All right, thanks for joining me. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you like this video, I bet you're gonna like these as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye. Bye.